So here's how to go ahead and attract your ideal client. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you guys are brand new here, my name is Jonathan. This channel is all about helping you guys get more clients, start and grow your own online high ticket business. So if that's you, go ahead and subscribe, go ahead and like this video. Let me know what's your biggest question when it comes to getting more clients just in general. Now in today's video, I really want to go ahead and tell you guys kind of how to attract your ideal client, right? So I wanted to go ahead and really break this down for you guys because I get a lot of questions. Jonathan, how can I get more clients? Jonathan, my outreach system doesn't work. Jonathan, you know, this doesn't work. I can't get clients. And the first thing I always look at them is, okay, how are you outreaching to these people? And I look at their Instagram. I look at their Facebook page and they don't look like a digital marketer. They don't look like a professional. They don't look like somebody that would know what exactly they're doing. So if you are, if you're like DMing people on Instagram or on Facebook, right? If you're DMing people on Instagram and on Facebook and your personal profile doesn't look like a digital marketer, why would that ideal client respond to you, right? So that's exactly what I wanted to go ahead and point out. Why would they respond to you? Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you guys can go ahead and actually build something that attracts your ideal client because that is a better way to go ahead and get clients. Instead of you chasing them down, there's so many times I go ahead and go into my DMs on Facebook, Instagram, and there's just a whole bunch of messages, right? A whole bunch of messages. And I think to myself, I'm like, there has to be another way to do this. There has to be a better way for us to go ahead ahead and actually get our ideal client to pay attention to us instead of us trying to you know bombard their dms with a whole bunch of messages right so that's exactly what i want to go ahead and talk to you guys about so there's going to be five questions that you guys have to ask yourself in order to go ahead and make this work let me go ahead and tell them to you right now first question is who is your ideal client the second question is where do they hang out the third question is what do they need and the fourth question is what do they want and the fifth question is, how can I provide value to them ahead of time? Now, let's go ahead and really break these down a little bit more, okay? Because the most important thing is, like, if you don't know who your ideal client is, right, who is your ideal client, you're never going to go ahead and understand the rest. You have to understand who your ideal client is, how old are they, right? That Because that's going to determine where they hang out. Who do you like really working with? I'm going to give you a few questions that you want to go ahead and really ask yourself uh, to figure out who your ideal client is so you can go ahead and really define your customer avatar all right so let's go ahead and jump into my ipad and really first draw out the four the five questions that we had to go ahead and ask right so the first question is who right who is my ideal client who is ideal client right here what you want to go ahead and do is really answer like how old are they right answer the age their demographics Are they married, right? Are they married? Do they got kids? Like these are all things that you want to go ahead and ask yourself. Like who is it that you like to work with? Do you like to work with adult? Are they professionals? Do they have um, degrees? Right? Do they have prof are they professionals? Do they have degrees? Because if that's the case, if for example, if you're trying to target a 40 year old, a 40 year old that is a professional, that is married, that has kids, they're going to be probably on LinkedIn or on Instagram, you see where I'm going with this. Now, if you're going to go ahead and go for more people, like for example, me, the 24 year old, um, he's not married, he doesn't have kids, and he, I mean, he never went to college to go, he never finished college to get his degree, then at that point, I'm probably going to be hanging out more on Instagram and Facebook, right? Or even TikTok at this point. And that's where I'm going to be. You have to understand where your ideal client hangs out because. You have to understand who your ideal client is because then at that point, then you can understand where are they, which is your second question, right? Your second question is where does your ideal client hang out? Are they on TikTok, right? So if, you, if you're if trying to target a professional that is 50 years old, do you think he's going to be on TikTok? Maybe he will, but I'm guessing that's not probably where he spends most of his time. Now, if you're trying to target someone that is 18, trying to really start a business or trying to go ahead and get out of going to college or whatever it is, if that's who your ideal target is, then probably they're going to be wasting their time on TikTok and you need to get their attention off of TikTok, off of somewhere, off of somewhere else. But now you're also going to attract those type of people who are wasting their time. So you have to keep this in mind of when, like, if you want to go ahead and attract your ideal client, you have to keep in mind okay depending on where they hang out it tells me a lot about their it tells me a lot about them so are they hanging out on facebook groups trying to absorb more knowledge if so they're probably a good type of client or they're on tiktok wasting their time 
you see what I'm trying to say now if they're probably maybe they're on Instagram they're on Instagram and they're probably trying to network on Instagram or they're just you know spending time on real scrolling their time right so you can go ahead and go in there that's for a younger demographic as well or maybe they're on Facebook groups or maybe they're on LinkedIn Right. This all depends. This like depending on who your ideal client is, is going to determine where they hang out. And that's exactly the most important part, because if you don't know where they if you don't know who your ideal client is, you're never going to be able to determine where they hang out. And the reason why you want to determine where they hang out is because you want to determine a content strategy inside that platform and start building that platform. Maybe they're also on YouTube, right? I'm on YouTube. Maybe they're on YouTube trying to figure it out. So maybe those are your ideal client. You want to go ahead and start building your YouTube channel and start becoming an authority figure around your certain niche for that specific type of for that specific type of person. This is all very important questions that you want to go ahead and ask yourself before you create a content strategy to try to attack uh, to try to attract your ideal client. Now, the third question that you want to go ahead and ask yourself is what do they need? right what do they need this is a very important question you must ask yourself because it's one thing what they want and it's another thing about what they need they may want more clients but you know that they need to work on their mindset to go ahead and get them more clients right because getting more clients is part mental is part of developing your mindset right so they might want more clients but they need mindset work right or if you're trying to work with fitness clients maybe they need you know to you know watch the diet maybe they need a diet but they want to go ahead and get the hack for the workout right so this is all things that you have to ask yourself okay what does my actually my actual client need in order to for him to achieve his goal that he wants if he wants to go ahead and lose weight well yeah you can work out all you want but if you don't have the proper diet you're probably not going to lose the weight so he definitely needs a diet i know that's not what he wants but he needs to do this on a diet he might want some more clients, but I know that he needs to work on his mindset and develop his mindset in order to go ahead and get more clients. This is very important stuff, guys. Now, the second, the third, the fourth question is want, right? What do they want? Now, at this point, now we can talk about their goals. Do they want more clients, right? A lot of my three people that I'm talking to, they want more clients. That's what they want. They want to go ahead and get more clients. They, maybe they want to lose weight. Maybe your ideal client wants to lose weight. Maybe they want to, you know, quit smoking, right? This is all things that they actually want. Maybe they want to go ahead and run a marathon. This is things that they want that your ideal client wants. And now you're going to go ahead and use all of this, right? For the fifth questions. Now you're going to go ahead and do all, use all of this for the fifth question, which is, you know, how can I provide them value? How can I provide value ahead of time you want to go ahead and provide value to your ideal client ahead of time so now knowing knowing exactly who your ideal client is you can go ahead and pinpoint who they are you can talk to them specifically and then you can know you know where they are you know they're on tiktok on instagram on linkedin on facebook groups you know exactly where your ideal client's hanging out now you know exactly what they need and now you know and you also know what they want so now creating a post on a Facebook group or creating a TikTok or creating a IG post or a YouTube video is so much easier because now you know exactly what they want, what they need, where they are, and who they are. And now you can go ahead and provide value, right? You can go ahead and provide value ahead of time and then invite them to go ahead and book a call or invite them to do something, whatever your call to action is. You want to go ahead and do it. You want to say, hey, um, go ahead and book in a call so you can go ahead and so I can go ahead and teach you this or maybe I can go ahead and help you with this, this and this and this. But this is all very important stuff. And if you don't really ask yourself these five questions, it's going to be really hard for you to develop a content strategy to go ahead and actually attract your ideal clients. So guys, ask yourself these five questions. Who is your ideal client? Where are they? What do they want? What do they need? 
what do they want and how can I provide value ahead of time? Because if you do this, your like your ideal client's gonna see you as a person that came into a Facebook group or that's showing them uh, that's showing up on their feed, and they're gonna be like, Oh wow, this person actually knows exactly who I am. This person actually knows exactly what I want, and they know exactly what I actually need, and they're providing this value. Let me go ahead and check them out. And now they're gonna go ahead and go to your profile, they're gonna go ahead and go to you. And they're going to see, hey, this person actually talks about my pain points. This person actually talks about my needs. This person actually talks about what I want. And he's showing me how to go ahead and get it. Let me go ahead and download this guy. Let me go ahead and download this free coaching. Let me go ahead and get his free coaching call. Or let me go ahead and just jump on the phone with him to see if I can join his program. This is all really you know, putting a mental picture in your ideal client's head, which is super important to do, especially if you want to go ahead and attract high ticket clients coming to you at all times. And this is something that I'm definitely working on right now with this YouTube channel. I'm developing this YouTube channel because I know this is where you guys are at. I know a lot of my clients are also on Instagram. So I'm developing that as well to be able to go ahead and help you guys, you know, really achieve something greater. So guys, what I want to go ahead and do, um, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video right here. By the way, let me know if this microphone sounds better than the other one. If the other one sounds better, I'll go ahead and change it back. But let me know if this microphone sounds better. If you guys like this one better, if you guys like the look of it as well, let me know. I always like to take in your feedback and hopefully you found some value in this video. So guys, thank you so much for your time. And other than that, I'll talk to you guys later.